I'm Mary Trimble here with your readings for the week of May the 14th through May the 20th and what a lot of uh, what a huge energy sh shift we're going to feel this week uh, I'm like tongue twisted okay first of all if you're new welcome um, thank you for stopping by and if you've been here before welcome back and thank you so much for coming back um, last week was amazing all the um, all the comments I will say that after Saturday I won't be able to um, I won't be able to respond to the angel numbers um, it's been work all week but well worth it it was lovely some of the comments were just heartwarming so thank you so much for that um, so please don't forget to like uh, my videos and share them on your social media because YouTube doesn't promote them like they used to so it's really helpful if you would do that and um, comment as I said and uh, subscribe if you haven't already um, so thank you all of you new subscribers and I hope that you enjoy yourself coming back now what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to pick someone who is uh, subscribed to me publicly and who comments and um, likes my video. I'm going to pick someone at random and I'm going to give them a free reading this week. So please, just make, and you, you know, you can cross, uh, each time you comment, you're going to get an extra I'm going to draw the name out of a bag so you'll get the extra name put in um, and that will happen uh, in two weeks time when I'm on location in Chicago because I'm going to the um, largest astrology convention in the Western Hemisphere so I shall be attending that for a week and, and I'll pull that live from there um, which will be apropos um, now so please you know I the last time I did this some people just said you know one word I you know it's got you've got to have I, I want to know that you've watched this video all the way through or the any video all the way through and I want you to comment on what it's meant to you so it's going to be the most poignant uh, comments that will be picked to put in the basket in the bag so that's exciting <laughs> anyway a little bit about the astrology before i go into the readings and of course the huge huge news is uranus is moving into taurus on the 15th and at the same time mars is moving into aquarius um so and not only that we have the new moon in taurus now you know first of all I, I mentioned this last week Uranus has an 84 year elliptical cycle right so it's not been in uh, it's not been in um, Taurus since well it was in Taurus 1934 to 1941 turbulent times right uh, World War two happened during that time so now it's going in it's going in on the 15th it's moving now Uranus is this uh, planet of surprises and sudden happenings and it's kind of like lightning right and Taurus is very grounded so it's being pulled down right it's being kind of restricted in a way so it's not very um, comfortable but it's going to have kind of you know it's the planet of eruptions you know we can have uh, a lot of astrologers are saying that it could you know we could have um, uh, we could have you know earthquakes anything kind of uh, uh, anything to do with the earth we could have you know some some shocking um, happenings around the planet so that could happen um, now this is what I think with this energy coming in I, I think we're all going to kind of feel it in different ways um, I think those of you with fixed signs such as Taurus, uh, Leo, um, Aquarius and um, 
come back to me brain oh my goodness Scorpio of course oh my goodness um, so you are really going to kind of feel it you're going to feel that shift and for some of it really depends on where Uranus is um, uh, where it is in your natal chart as to how it's going to affect you in you know in which house um, now what I will say that there are a lot of planets in earth in earth signs at this time at the time of this new moon you've got the Sun and the moon which are always together in the same sign uh, when it's a new moon right you've got the Sun the moon Mercury in Taurus then we have Mars, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn, although Mars will be leaving Capricorn and moving into Aquarius. It's in the last degrees and then it moves into Aquarius. Um, so this is a very, very powerful new moon and it's kind of exciting. It's very important to put your intentions because it's all about you know it's about material it's about the material world it's about finances it's about the planet it's about kind of abundance if you will so write your intentions down you know de figure out where you want to be in the next six months to a year even five years we listen Uranus is going to be in Taurus for seven years seven long years it's moving out a little bit to Aries for a little bit but then it's back in and it's in for the long haul so um, this is a very interesting time that we're going into but I will say do something do a ritual for the new moon and really put your intentions this is what I really if you get a chance go to the beach put your feet in the sand be grounded do grounded things go put your bare feet in the soil feel the earth you have these receptors in your feet and you know allow the planet to heal you and vice versa allow the energy to flow um, I think it's very important for us to remain grounded during this time and and I think it's very I think we're going to see you know uh, Uranus is a planet of um, innovation rebelliousness I mean there's lots um, there's lots of energy at play here, but I think that, you know, the emphasis is going to be on our planet. How are we treating it? I think new inventions and innovative uh, uh, inventions are going to come out. Uh, and, and I think the focus will be on the planet. I think it's really important to do something to work with these, co-create with these energies, right? So... You know, Uranus will break up the status quo, the stagnancy. Do something different. Put your life in a different direction. Take risks. Go out and shake your world up. Shake it up in how you earn the, um, how you earn money, how you're living, how you treat the planet. It's like make those changes because if you don't make those changes, those changes will be made for you. And Uranus isn't like a smooth transition. It's sudden, sharp. You know shocking changes now if you can embrace the changes you know it'll make life so much easier for you um, so what an exciting week what a huge shift in energy we're really real I'm already feeling it I'm already feeling it for sure um, so I think I think you know think about Taurus and think about you know their key word is I have for Taurus right so it's all about being grateful for what you have it's all about you know do I really need this it's like how much do I use how much do I need it's about conserving I think it's about being realistic it's about being you know and you think about you think about um, you know the bull in a field who's very placid you know eating you know grass or whatever and very walking around really you know nonchalantly and then you put a red fl flag in front of that bull and it goes charging goes nuts so it's about remaining grounded and remaining calm not reacting right it's about keeping your calm in the storm it's always about breathing before you speak or you act it's about responding and not reacting um, so anyway guys uh, this is a 
these readings are general readings. If you would like a personal reading, that information will be below in the description box in the show more section. Uh, I'm also on Instant Go and the link to that will be uh, underneath and you can ask me a question for like $10. Um, so 24 seven, that's great. You know, download that app, it's amazing. Um, and also, if you want to show me some support, check out my Patreon page. I'm on uh, Patreon and I really want to thank my patrons. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and what else? Yes, your sun, moon and rising, the information will be down below. And listen, I love to give personal readings, guys. Contact me and thank you to all those who have I love you all. I really appreciate you. And without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Libra, and welcome to your reading for, it should have been the 14th through the 20th, but now it's actually the 16th. I'm really sorry, I've been extremely unwell. And uh, I managed to get two readings out yesterday before I got completely exhausted. So I am trying to recover, but also trying to get these out for you guys because it's important. I feel it's important anyway. Um, and I don't like to disappoint. So um, without further ado, let's go to your first card. Now, the first card we have for you is the Knight of Pentacles. Now, <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles. Knights are always about movement, right? Moving forward. And this knight is indeed about moving forward. Um, however, he's very uh, methodical. So he moves forward quite slowly and deliberately, which is actually what's going on right now because, you know, the new moon in Taurus, it's about, you know, Taurus is about hard work, work, determination and just keep plodding along just do it you know and then it will pay off so he is strategically moving forward and he's powerful don't get me wrong and he works very he's very loyal and he works very diligently and his moves are very calculated he just doesn't rush in um, so this is about moving forward it's about working hard and it's just about you know knowing that things cannot be rushed it's it's about patience too this is right because he surveys the land he knows um that he will do whatever he has to do to protect the king and the kingdom but he doesn't rush in all swords are blazing he's very calculating and deliberate now, <clears throat> clarifying this is the Four of Cups, which makes me feel that you're kind of not in the moment, um, Libra, that you're kind of thinking about what hasn't worked out for you and you're kind of lamenting about things haven't quite worked out the way you wanted them to. So you're kind of preoccupied and dreaming about this. And what happens when you're dreaming, dreaming about this stuff is that you miss this golden opportunity that's being handed to you. You don't see those things because you're preoccupied with what hasn't worked out for you and kind of disappointments, right? So what I'm getting from this is that, listen, come into the present moment. There's no point in harping on. Look, we all go to those places sometimes, but don't stay there. It's, we're all, it's a very, it's so important for us to actually really focus on what is working what has worked how you know how far we have come and how far we have grown this there's you have to learn the lessons from what has transpired in your life and then you can move forward more the wiser right you don't have to ever make those mistakes again or or learn those lessons again once you learn them but don't kind of wallow in the disappointment of yourself or what didn't work out look at it in an analytical way and say okay what was it that didn't work and that now I can really make sure that that doesn't happen again and I can avoid those pitfalls or those disappointments because now I'm wiser I've come through it I know how to handle these things so the next card that comes up for you is the Four of Pentacles. 
Now, look at this guy. He's hanging on to all these coins. He's miserly almost, right? Now, this, this could be about a financial matter. I, I'm getting that it probably is, actually. This is you being afraid to spend money almost um, and being... It's like you're holding on to it. It's like you're hoarding it because you really don't believe that your um, bank account can be replenished. You're feeling that you've got to hold on to as much as you can for that rainy day. And in doing so, you can create that rainy day. <laughs> it's almost like a self-professing prophecy. Look, money is energy. I always say this. You know, it has to flow from you to you, through you, around you. It's like, you know, uh, abundance comes in many forms. So it's important to, you know, believe that that money is going to be replenished. Know that you have the power within you to create that money again. You're blocking the money by holding on to it, by not freely spending it for services that other people are getting money and then they can spend it. It's kind of a, think of it as a domino effect. All of a sudden one domino won't fall, right? It just stands there. And then the others are left standing, waiting, waiting for their spectacular fall in the pattern of life, right? So this is about, you know, dropping the fear. I'm not saying be frivolous, but I am saying invest in the economy. Sometimes you have to shop. That's investing in the economy. That you have to give to receive, right? Um, do something nice for yourself. Look, this clarifying it is the king of pentacles. Now, the king of pentacles is someone who loves luxury, right? He loves opulence. He loves shiny things. He loves, he loves richness, you know? However, he doesn't worry about working hard for it. He knows that he'll be the first in the fields with his sleeves up, rolled up, working alongside the peasants to make whatever um, whatever he needs to make come true. He's a hard and determined worker and he will, you know, get paid for it. So when this is happening, it's like, look, darling, forget about holding on to this. Focus on working to create more instead of just holding on to what you have because you're not replenishing the coffer, so to speak. So all this I'm getting is moving forward. Like, it's not like the heavens are going to rain down all this fortune on you, but it will come to you if you are determined and you do work hard and you just keep going forward. So Libra, the next card that we have is the justice card. And that's you, the balance, right? The scales, the scales of justice. This, I, I particularly love this card because um, it's about scales and it's about balance, but it's also about sunshine, sun, the sun shining, right? And there's almost like, it's almost like a triangle, if you will. Um, which is always a very favorable uh, sign, a, a shape in astrology, for sure. This is about, you know, this is about a very nice aspect um, in astrology. So I have a feeling that, look, things are going to work out really well for you. Now, if you do the right things for the right reason, you have to ask yourself, is this for the higher good of me and everyone. And you've got two cards clarifying it. You've got the King of Swords, which is also like the Justice card. He's a champion for justice. He's, it's very, he's the truth speaker. It's very important to be honest and to do everything for the right reason. Don't do anything underhanded right now. You know, don't take any shortcuts. That's what I'm getting. Don't take any shortcuts. It's very important for you to live by the rules right now, by society's rules. And when you do, you have this beautiful card, the Four of Rods, which is the Four of... This is, this is celebration. This is like something really worth celebrating. 
So I always think of this as a karmic card, right? And it's and the number 11, which is this year is a number 11. It's a powerful spiritual number. And it is about thinking about doing things for the right reason. You know, every every decision has a karmic value. Think of the ripples and the repercussions of any of your decisions that you make. Be completely honest, honest with yourself as well as others. And you will have uh, an opportunity to celebrate the outcome. So what I'm seeing here in synopsis is that this is about you putting your nose to the grindstone and working really hard. It's about being present. It's about noticing the gifts of the universe, seeing them come in. Don't miss them with the four of cups. Be present in the moment, you know, really be on point with that. Now, don't don't hoard your money or don't be miserly, you know, even with yourself, you know, treat yourself to a massage or manicure, pedicure, whatever it is that floats your boat, what makes you feel um, luxurious and makes you feel that, you know, makes you feel rich, basically, right? And don't forget, you look, some of you may have like, um, a decision coming down for you. It could be at work. It could be actually in the court system. It could be as long as you're doing everything for the right reason, as long as you're really honest with yourself and others, everything will turn out fantastically for you, Libra. You know, you've got the four of rods. That's like the end of something and worth celebrating. Um, so Libra, that's so exciting for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media and um, comment. Don't forget to enter my uh, free reading. You know, you have to be a public subscriber. You have to comment and something else. I'm totally, my head's still a little fuzzy. Something else you have to, you have to be subscriber, you have to comment and you have to like the video. There you go. And of course, it would really help if you shared it on social media. Um, that would be brilliant. Libra, thank you so much. I love you all and I'll see you next week. To inquire about or purchase any of Mary's services, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.